Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to respond to a comment that uh, was discussed in the commentariat from last Wednesday. Somebody suggested that since I had taken the ARRL NFED half wave, which covers 40, 20, 15, and 10, that I and we then, in another video, extended it to 80 meters and then showed that you could, by putting a little capacitor in the middle, bring that 80 meters up to 75 meters. Okay, so um, the suggestion was this. I only tested it on the so-called old amateur bands of 80, 40, 15, uh, 20, and 10. And I should since I've stretched it out to 80 meters while I've still got it up, why not test it on all the bands and see how it works? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the antenna. Now remember, this is the ARRL 40 through uh, 10 meter NFED half wave turned into an 75, 40, and so on um, NFED half wave. In other words, we've doubled the length of it. We've also put a capacitor in the middle so that it's not 80-40, but rather 75 and 40. Very interesting little trick with just one inexpensive capacitor. So let's take a look at how this antenna does on all bands, uh, all HF bands. I think you will be very surprised at how well it does. Now, mind you, these end-fed half waves don't give you a 1 to 1 SWR. You're lucky to get 1.6 to 1, uh, and you might even be looking at 2 to 1 or 2.5 to 1. However, most modern radios have a built-in antenna tuner that will handle up to 3 to 1. So you should be able to turn on the tuner on your radio and get this down uh, to one to one within all of the bands that I'm going to talk about with the exception of 60 meters and I'll show you why. Before we jump into taking a look at the SWR meter and seeing what we have on all the different bands I want to say a special thank you to a user Farney, F-A-H-R-N-E-Y who is one of my recent patrons. Thank you very much for supporting this channel. You too can support this channel by becoming a patron through patreon.com slash ke0og. Now let's take a look at those charts. So we'll turn this thing on. All right, and it's going to do SWR charts. Now we need to know the band first, and we're going to do one, which is 80 meters, and do the SWR chart, and you know, we tell it to go. Here it goes. Now, as we can see, it gets down to 1.5 to 1 in a portion of the uh, 80 meter band. In fact, it goes all the way to the end of the band at 2 to 1. You could use your tuner across that entire upper half of the band. Now, notice that we sacrifice the FT8 part of the band. Okay, let's take a different band. We'll look at 60 meters. Okay, and at 60 meters, we're getting an SWR of 5 to 1 consistently all the way across the band. So this antenna, even modified, uh, has nothing to do with 60 meters. Okay, let's try 40 meters. 40 meters is number 3, and we'll start it on the uh, scan. And note that, as we expected, it uh, does its best down to 1.2 to 1, the bottom of the band, but all the way across the band, it's less than 2 to 1. This is a perfectly usable antenna with the antenna tuner that's built into your rig. This type of antenna never promises perfect SWRs on all bands. Okay, now that was 40. Let's try 30, which is... Band number four. Okay, now look at this. 
it is about 1.7 to 1 all the way across the band, real nice and flat. This is well within what your transceiver with the built-in tuner can tune. And, of course, if you have an external tuner, you can do just fine on this. Okay, so let's go now from 30 to 20. And on 20, we're expecting goodness. Enters the band at 1.5 to 1. Comes down a little bit. Uh, goes back up. Exits the band at about, oh, 1.7 to 1, something like that. That is very easily handled by your radio's tuner to bring it down to 1 to 1. You could even go without the tuner if you wanted to. Okay, so now let's take uh, 17 meters. That's been 6. It's under 2 to 1 entering the band. This is something you can do with your radio, no problem. And it's under 2 to 1 going out of the band. Okay, that's great. That's something you can use easily. So let's go... Um, now we'll do 15 meters, and now it enters it somewhat above 2 to 1, but it's less than 3 to 1. Okay, and this will work across the entire band. Now the only thing we can tune on this is the length and that little capacitor up there, and the idea of the capacitor is to not affect the tuning on the other bands. This is perfectly acceptable with your built-in tuner. All right, now let's try 12 meters, which is band eight. Well, you're at two to one. Looks like it's gonna be two to one across the band. It's not the world's best, but with the antenna tuner in your radio, it will work just fine. Okay, and now we'll do 10 meters, which is nine. Okay, it's a little high at the beginning. If you use a tuner in your radio, you can still go um, all the way down to the bottom of the band and all the way up to the end. Uh, it peaks in the part of the band that's used mostly in FM, but uh, it's still good enough down over here. Okay, since we've got it up, why don't we try six meters? It's function plus zero. This is six meters. The thing is not intended for six meters. Uh, it's from two to one. Oh, it's going to go down. Okay, here it is. And then it goes up. All right, but it's under three to one across the entire band. I don't know that I'd recommend this for six meters because it will have some very strange lobes. Uh, with a lot of gain in one direction and no gain in another and so on. And since it happens to be on here, let's do two meters. And I don't think you're going to get very far with this. Oh, look at that. Now, this is a weird pattern. And uh, wow, look at that. A double null. Well, you can use it on part of two meters, but again, the uh, the azimuthal pattern of this is going to be really, really weird. So there you have the various readings that are available on the SWR meter. Now, you'll note that the one HF band that didn't do well was 60 meters. 60 meters does not have a nice, neat harmonic relationship to 80 meters. Now the 80, 40, 20, 15, 10 are all nice harmonic relationships. Uh, 30, uh, 60, 30, uh, 17, and 12 are not. Now as it turns out, it just doesn't perform at all on the 60 meter band. It's got an SWR five to one across the band. Now can you take that out with the wide range tuner? Yeah, but you might be better off with something a little bit better tuned for that. None of the uh, vertical, band, uh, vertical antennas, multiband vertical 
antennas that are sold cover 60 meters that I know of. It's a rare band. It's not in use much. A lot of people who do it put up a dipole special for it uh, to make that work. Now, 30 meters is more of an um, odd, no, odd uh, overtone of uh, 80 meters. So we get fairly decent results on 30 and on 12 and 17. Now, we don't get those on the 40 meter version of the uh, NFED half wave. So you do pick up a little something by extending it if you have the room. So there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel, please go to decastlercom slash support. Pick a way that works for you. I've been pushing Patreon lately because their fee structure is reasonable. Uh, and plus, they're very good at uh, handling all the details of your uh, patronship. So, until we next meet, 73.